This is calculator question number 28 from practice test 3. We have a word problem re regarding the estimate for a city's population where we estimate that the city loses 10% of its population every 20 years. And the question is, if the current population is 50,000, which equation represents the engineer's estimate of the population of the city t years from now? Notice all our choices start with 50,000, so we don't have to worry about getting that number right. The question is, it, is it 0.1 to a power or 0.9 to a power? And then is that power 20t or t over 20? You can reason this out with logic, and in fact that's a good way to do it. When t equals 20, you should have 10% less, you should have 90% of your current population. So that would be 0.9 to one of these powers at t equals 20, this is 0.9 to the 20 times 20 is 400, which is a whole lot less than 90% of your starting population. At t equals 20, this is 0.9 to the 20 over 20, it's 0.9 to the 1 is 0.9, so we multiply our current population by 0.9, and that gives us choice D. If you prefer to use the calculator, if the right questions to ask there are hard, I go to y equals and type in choice A, and I look at my table, I'm starting at year zero at 50,000, and in year 20 my population has dropped to zero. I expect in year 20 to have lost 10%, not 100%, so A must be wrong. What about choice B? Instead of 20t, how about t over 20? And in year 20 I have a population of 5,000 instead of 50,000. So I've only retained 10%, I've lost 90%. This has decreased by 10%, so I should have 45,000 instead of only 5,000. So choice B is wrong. Let's try choice C. 0.9 times 20x. And in year 20, my population is essentially zero again. So choice C is wrong and choice D, 0.9 to the t over 20. I start with a population of 50,000. After 20 years, I have 45,000. That is a loss of 10%, which is what I'm supposed to find. And after 20 more years, in year 40, I have 40,500, so I lost 10% of what I had in year 20. This is exponential decay, so that would be the correct answer. Whether you can figure out the equation through logic or through substituting in a known value like year 20, or you figure it out by using the calculator since this is a calculator question. All correct answers are correct. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.